lot of us would like to get a completely dry day for the rest of the weekend tomorrow, Julia. I don't know that it's going to happen, but it certainly will be a little better than today. We'll talk about that in a moment. Welcome to the Weather Center, everybody. And Storm Team 4 Max Raider on the wide view across the Badgerland showing a couple of rounds of showers. One we had roll through here earlier this afternoon, pulling out to the east, about a tenth of an inch of uh, rain accumulating in the rain gauges. A few scattered showers around here and then more off to the west. This is the line I think we'll have to worry about in about two, two and a half hours or so. But out there right now across our viewing area, most of us dry, but there are pockets of isolated heavy downpours, and we're going to track those right now at the neighborhood level in northern Walworth County, just to the west of Highway 43 and just to the west of East Troy. Very heavy downpour there. A few flashes of lightning, though nothing else other than the really heavy rain. Up to the north, western Fond du Lac County, just to the west of Brandon. A lot of lightning, some pretty decent wind gusts, and tiny, tiny uh, reports of hail, nothing major. And then I'm going to use our volumetric uh, measurement tool here that we have on Storm Team 4 Max Radar for the heaviest cell that I've been tracking through Dodge County and now into western sections of Washington County, just to the west-northwest of Slinger. If you're looking out your window, you're going to see some lightning and some pretty dark clouds. And those clouds go all the way up to about 30,000 feet. Now, this has kind of diminished a little bit in the last hour or so. I think it will continue to diminish somewhat as we head through the rest of the evening. In the meantime, outside to the west of Milwaukee and Waukesha County, as we look to the northwest toward Pewaukee, some breaks in the clouds, which normally you'd say, Scott, that's good news. We're going to clear out. No, that's going to add to the instability in the atmosphere, potentially leading to more showers and storms. So in your weather headlines, rain rolls through. We'll see a split on Sunday with more sun in the afternoon than clouds and a seasonal stretch on the thermometer. Speaking of which, outside right now, between the mid 60s along the lake with the lake breeze, mid 70s inland away from Lake Michigan's cooling influence. You can see that contrast in winds southeast along the lake, but more of a southerly direction inland. The dew points tell another key story. They're kind of high in the mid 60s, making it feel rather muggy for a lot of folks. As we widen out the view across the upper Midwest, notice that counterclockwise spin to the atmosphere. That's low pressure with a trailing cold front. That right there is our evening trigger for more showers and storms. Back off to the west, high pressure will lead to decreasing clouds by tomorrow afternoon. So across southeastern Wisconsin right now, again, the smattering of showers and storms. We'll see them pop up as we go through the evening and then clear out after about midnight. Your storm team forecast for tonight, then expect to see those evening showers and storms and then mostly cloudy and mild overnight down to about 56. For tomorrow, I think overall it's going to be a pretty decent day. We start with clouds. We finish with sun in the afternoon. Just a few pop up showers, but I wouldn't be canceling my outdoor activities. 73 for a high tomorrow. Here comes your storm team for seven day forecast Monday. Again, a few pop up showers, not an all day washout, about 74 degrees. Tuesday, the coolest of the next week. We'll see a mix of sun and clouds on Tuesday, about 68 degrees, and then we warm right back up as we head toward the end of next week. A little instability on Thursday with some showers and storms, and by next Friday, we could be near 81 degrees. So, Julie, I just keep the umbrella handy. It's not going to be an all-day washout tomorrow, but some afternoon pop-up rain, a possibility. At least we get to see the sun tomorrow afternoon. That's, That's right. Good. Thanks so much, Scott.